Hey guys, Hexer18, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to be going over the new Backtrack 5 R2 that came out uh, that was released recently as of March uh, 2nd of 2012. It was shown on distrowatch.com. If you are a fan of Linux and maybe uh, BSD, uh, which is Unix, you might want to check out distrowatch.com. It uh, lets you. It shows the latest in Linux and BSD that's recently coming out or being updated, and then they even have an announcement page that shows you what is being updated or shows you what is being updated. Uh, tells you. So um, uh, Ubuntu uh, 12.04 beta one was even out too. Um, there's a bunch of lists that you know on here. It even shows you the the page ranks. So as you can see, Linux Mint is over Ubuntu right now, which doesn't surprise me. I've, you know, as being a Linux fan uh, for all these years, um, using Linux for the past three years, you know, I started using, I was using Linux Mint, and I have to say it is much better than using Ubuntu. Ubuntu is still good, but um, I'm not a big fan of Unity. So, um... I might have said that to a few people before, but anyways, uh, I'm just ra uh, rambling on here. I just really wanted to go over was the backtrack. So backtrack five, if you've never checked out backtrack yet, please do so. Um, you know, it's a great operating system, uh, Linux distro that's uh, for penetration testing and ethical hacking. So um, it has a bunch, a collection of tools. And it's based on Ubuntu. So if you're familiar with Ubuntu, you should be familiar with Backtrack. That being said, though, you should be uh, familiar with Terminal, too, because Terminal is very important to know. Um, let's see. Release announcements. So it's redirecting me to the BacktrackLinux.org website. And from their blog, it says right here, uh, Backtrack 5 R2 release, new kernel, new tools. Okay. I'm not going to open this in virtual machine. There's no point. This is just going over the update. I wanted to have you guys uh, know about it or those who may not even know about it at all. So um, after months of development, bug fixes, updates, additional 42 new tools, we are happy to announce the full release of Backtrack 5 R2 available for download. Running our custom built 3.2.6 kernel with the best wireless support available. This is our fastest and best release of Backtrack yet. In the past few weeks, we have had a flood of submissions of our Backtrack Red Mine Tracker submissions. So, some of you who have you know noticed that Red Mine Tracker page um, with the patches and everything. They might have applied it to this. I've not checked it out yet. I did download it, but I haven't checked it out yet. Um, so I will be updating to this. Uh, you, you can also update from the terminal if you already have the Backtrack R1. Um, but I've always just re-downloaded the new Backtrack in just to make sure that I have everything. Uh, so um, anyways, uh, once, once again, our good friends at... Pa uh, Padreva, if that's how you pronounce it, um, I'm sorry if that's not right, have created a special backtrack edition of Malt Ego 3.10 for your data mining pleasure. So if you haven't checked out Malt Ego, I do have a video, a previous video on Malt Ego. It's pretty basic. Um, the new Malt Ego does have some more to features to offer. Um, so check out Malt Ego as well. There's, you know, there's links to that. Um, on this page if you have not used these tools before you really need to try them out at least you know they do the change the way you react interact with the data and renaissance uh, finding that information information gathering I'm sure I went over that before um, you will also find uh, included is the Metasploit 4.20 community edition and version 3.0 of social social engineering toolkit which is SS SCT and beef 0.4.3.2 and many other tools and they're right here in this list right here um, as I can see in this list I might have heard Reaver but I'm I've heard a goof file um, some of these I might have seen or heard and I think some of these might actually be on the back 
Box Linux that I've talked about before. Um, and then this is reliable weekly security updates and fixes. That's kind of cool. So um, to do that, it tells you right here that this is what you need to put in terminal to do that. So um, it says perhaps one, the one change that we are most excited about in this release is not that we are now including Ubuntu updates in our repositories on a more re re uh, regular basis. So from now on, when you do a distro run update, uh, distro up dash update, you will also receive the updated tools and packages that are being pulled from Ubuntu, making it more secure, more stable. Pretty good. I like that. Sounds good. Um, there's been some wiki updates, uh, it looks like some tutorials on how to's, so definitely check out those. Um, I'm probably going to be following, I might follow some of these tutorials here, might make a video, I don't know yet. Like I, you know, I've been having some issues with life right now. Uh, computer field wise, as of going into my career, has not been going very well. Uh, from some of you that may know now. So um, I've been just take, uh, taking a different path right now and um, uh, anything that just can get me going in life right now. So um, the move on. So until then, um, I'm still going to be, you know, getting my certifications. I'm, wor uh, you know, working on computers on the side, uh, making the videos when I can for you guys, and then a little bit of video gaming on the side. So um, pretty busy. I mean, I'll be working more often now. Uh, that I got a different job now and I'm not going to really state any of that stuff on here now so um, but anyways thanks guys for watching um, just wanted to keep you guys up to date with Backtrack because you guys are fans of Backtrack I am too and I wanted to get that out to you guys so go out there download Backtrack 5R2 update do all your updates and then go back to what you were doing before uh, thanks guys take care have a good day bye